Welcome back guys to another series in Windows 8.1 Pro Preview, formerly known as Windows Blue. So this is the 11th part of the overview for this upcoming OS build. So in part 10, we did talk about the PC settings in the modern UI and all the new features that have been accumulated into this previous build, the 9374. In part 11, we'll go ahead and go over a few more things that popped up in the new build right here, 9385. So here on the start screen, as you can see, we have the multimedia right here camera and movie moments, they have all been created with a new tile illustration. So movie moments has been updated and has a few more options. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what it is. Here you can see a few things that are a little different. Trim it, say it, share it. It's basically pretty easy to come by. I do believe this would be somewhat of a substitute of Movie Maker, but however, this app doesn't have all the full-fledged options that the desktop version would have. So if you wanted to, all you have to do is just browse for a video, go ahead and check it, press open, and also you can multitask by checking other videos and bringing them in too. I do believe so. Pressing open, all you have to do is just go ahead and select your video. You can add a title, you can emphasize, you can freeze a frame, and also the styles, which isn't coming up right now, so I can't really say much on that. And then once you're done, all you have to do is just press done, the check mark. And then if you wanted to, you can also trim it. For instance, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and trim it to five seconds. Then I can go ahead and press check mark. And what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and send it to the pictures folder. And that video that's going to be rendered is going to be available for you. So with that video rendered, all you have to do is just go ahead and close the program, go to the desktop area and go to the Explorer. And inside the pictures folder, a folder will be created called movie moment. Inside that folder will be your video right there. The camera app itself hasn't included any new features, so we'll go ahead and pass on to that. The alarm, when I go ahead and open it, it'll offer to go ahead and be displayed on the lock screen. Also, if it doesn't do that, you can always have the option of going over here and go into permissions, and it'll have it right here. Just press on, and it'll be ready for you. With the alarm, it gives you the option to go ahead and either dismiss it or also snooze it. So if you wanted to, you can either have the two options, either dismiss it or snooze it, and just go ahead and press it. So that's the option right there. The modern app Internet Explorer 11 hasn't changed much, but in regards to the desktop version that has a new F12 enhancement for the developer tools, over here you can see Internet Explorer 12, which is the version 9385. And going over here to the F12 developer tools, you can see that there is some options that you can see. It has given you some options. Uh, I'm not really familiar with it myself, but it has console. It also has DOM Explorer. It also has debugger. And it also has the emulation and also the perf tools slash memory and also network and also Profiler and Once Compat, which I do believe is in regards to the compatibility of Internet Explorer 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, this right here, I do believe this means that Internet Explorer has finally caught up with the Firefox and Chrome, aka the RE web developer features. Going over to the PC settings right here, we're going to notice a few but noticeable changes in regards to the features previously mentioned. First off, in this build, the search bar does not still work. I'm sure it'll become functional once the final build comes out. But right now, it doesn't currently work. So if I were to go ahead and search in Reader, results do not come up. The lock screen tab, as I mentioned, has the alarm app, which allows you to go ahead and choose an alarm to go ahead and be displaced on the lock screen. Now, the thing about it is that you can go ahead and choose an app. Say, for example, if I had an iHeartRadio app that plays music or any other multimedia app that I want, it's going to go ahead and show me when the alarm goes off that particular app. So this can also be a newspaper app or any other app that you want, I'm sure there are going to be limitations, but I'd like to go ahead and be woken up by iHeartRadio if possible. Under the Users tabs, the Kozak mode, which is the lockdown mode, has been named Assigned Access. And with this, you can go ahead and run any app on the standalone account, which that app will only be seen by you. You can go into any other options like PC settings, the desktop, or the start screen. The only way that you're going to be able to opt out is if you go ahead and press the Windows logo or the Windows key five times, just like you would do with the control five times for the sticky buttons. Yeah, so that's it for the Windows 8.1 build 9385. Please subscribe for further updates for the Windows 8.1 Pro and its release. 
Also, I would love if you guys can go ahead and share this because it helps to see where this channel is going to go. The more support from you is better for me to support you in the latest Windows OS news and more. So take care, guys, and until another great video, goodbye.